Tim's news explosion. Protecting the child, uh, Australia's children from sexualization. I we of course are in the middle of uh, LGBTQ Pride Month, uh, but uh, for uh, the groomers in Australia, uh, it's basically any excuse uh, to push their agenda. Though, and I couldn't believe this, that in uh, a childcare centre or early learning centre, as they're called, in the city of Parramatta, they are having Pride Month activities. This is for six months to four years old, Northmead Red Bank Early Learning Centre. Uh, so uh, celebrating LGBTIA diversity, rainbow painting, art and dress ups in gender equity. Uh, this is like they're not even crawling at six months and they're indoctrinating them into the rainbow religion. That this is absolutely, I can't believe this, that literally infants, they are pushing this on. And of course, uh, subsidized free childcare, it comes as a, co as, as a cost to parents. If you dump your children in childcare, daycare, then the state is going to indoctrinate it into uh, their religion. But, and here we go, under dramatic play, the toddlers and preschoolers will be taught dress-ups in gender equity for all children. We are the same, uh, but uh, different. So, oh, I just can't believe it. Now, down here in Victoria, it is... A Department of Education policy uh, to transgender uh, your child uh, without your knowledge or permission. So the Herald Sun spoke to two uh, parents of autistic uh, children, both a, a girls who decided to use male uh, pro. Uh, pronouns and in the CAS review into NA NHS gender services, a lot that were going through these gender clinics had a uh, diagnosed autism or were on the spectrum. I know that uh, autism is overdiagnosed, and it's those who are high functioning. It's not a significant uh, disability. Uh, so this is they these teachers. They are following a, the Allen government a education policy. Uh, DML says, ah, so the real reason for childcare being free is finally uh, revealed. Any, any, uh, any facility where uh, you give over your children uh, to a, a state-run or funded facility, uh, then I uh, uh, they're going to be taught the state religion. Now, also reported in the the Herald Sun, this horrific her horrific uh, suicide of well, this Herald Sun headline says transgender woman, uh, which is biological male, uh, took their own life after. I, they were horribly mutilated in a backyard surgery by a rogue operator with no medical training. And so the, uh, uh, the procedure was an orchorectomy, which is the removal of the testicles. So not a, a full vagina uh, plasty, which is the, the removal of the penis. Now, the reason why uh, trans women have their testicles removed is so they stop producing testosterone. But if it goes wrong, uh, it causes massive internal uh, bleeding, bruising, blistering. Con they're in constant uh, pelvic pain. And so I, uh, because it was a... <laughs> they hide them basic online. Uh, so basically, e on a it's like they went online on a job site uh, to find somebody who would cut their balls off in a backyard shed. 
And uh, so uh, the complications were excessive bleeding, which resulted into admission to uh, to uh, Casey Hospital. And so they have now committed suicide, this uh, transgender, uh, via a pill uh, from a uh, online online store uh so a uh, sold by an australian chemical supplier now under scrutiny dml says uh test is removed i think that's a <laughs> dan andrews said to me sadly this is like uh, no laughing matter this is this should be a national medical scandal this is like a horror movie like in a like you don't really want to picture it in your mind. Like I, I, I shared with all of these uh, tools, a, it's like some sort of uh, horror movie, but this unlicensed surgeon has gotten away with it. Now, a, the, the mother who is uh, Rachel Byrne is demanding justice for her daughter. And uh, so the, the the mother says that, and this is the uh, the the theme of the article that the uh, the solution to uh, this is to have I had train uh, more surgeons in sex change operations or chorectomies, vagina plasties. Uh, there, remember also many years back, there was that uh, uh, transgender uh, biological male has actually transitioned back to male in prison who uh, had a, a vaginoplasty sex change surgery gone wrong in Thailand. So they were basically, there was a fecal discharge from what's called the neo-vagina and so as an end result went into a 7-eleven and swung an axe at random people this article also quotes transgender victoria saying female genital surgery can be difficult and impossible to obtain in victoria or australia and says that uh, uh so the so the inquest has heard into this transgender suicide there are significant medical barriers to uh, gender affirmation including cost as well as lengthy wait list approval processes and limited qualified surgeons so i don't know how like what is it they advertise hey uh we need some people who are able to safely uh, remove penis and testicles uh, now, Sasink says the trannies are the only ones that don't fear uh, death. So yes, this is so. This was a cluster of uh, uh, five, uh, uh, five suicides of uh, transgender people in Victoria. So, but this was just an article in the Herald Sun one day, and then it's old news. There, this has not been the national scandal that. It should be. Tim's News Explosion.